Start off by uh, adding a 3D text to your world. Then you'll go down to your method, which I'm just going to leave my first method. Click on 3D text, go to this, drag it over, and click default string. Go to world up here, click on the functions. Then what as a string? You want to drag this into the default string area. You see that you can't really uh, put a variable in there yet because we haven't created one. So go to world's properties, create a new variable, I'm just kind of name it number, and create that. <coughs> so go back to world functions, drag this back over, now you see expressions. Click number, now it'll uh, appear in your world, but the thing is it won't be as a uh, integer, it'll be a decimal. So come down in the farther into the list, and you'll see this. It says int a as a string. Drag this over here. Go back. Put in your uh, number variable. Normally, it's better to make the duration 0 0.01 seconds and abruptly, because it'll make it constant. <coughs> now you have to create an event to make the world change it. So go to when the world starts, right click while the world is running, come down here, drag the method over. So now it'll look like this. Play the world. You can see that the 3D text set to 1. Now it'll constantly do that, so if you want you can see it in effect so when the mouse is clicked on anything have your number variable increment by one <coughs> play the world so every time you click you see it increasing and that's about it